what's up everybody it's uh mike and mateo every once in a while we like to throw on one of our patreon episodes up here and we'll admit this is a little bit of an extra long patreon episode for the quick and the weird we got carried away there but uh yeah a little bit a little bit yeah but once in a while we like to put one on here just to show you what we put on patreon and uh thank everybody su- for supporting us on patreon and if you're interested in joining the sticker club or the print club or the quick and the weird stuff there's a ton of there's a ton of episodes on there now, Mike. I didn't realize how many episodes were yeah. on there. Well, we do try to put out two episodes a month and sometimes other episodes as well. But usually the quick and the weird is what we're posting. But occasionally we'll we'll do music episodes or talking about comic books or some shit. But usually it's quick and the weird. And, and if you've ever, if you listen to our, our previous Patreon preview episode, um, you know, they're like 10 to 15 minute episodes where we just take the cases that we can't that we know we wouldn't be able to stretch into a full episode and we just do do them there and and cover them there this one that we're coming out with this week this is actually the most recent one that we released to patreon and it just so happened to be quite a bit longer than the usual quick and the weird so we figured this would also be a good way to kind of uh promote patreon and and if you like it we have multiple tiers for if you so we we've got i think what's the lowest tier five dollars and that's for the extra content yeah that's the extra content Ooh, the quick and the weird episodes the patreon posts all that the discord and, and within that's our oh yeah we do the monthly hangouts on there we meet up with everybody yeah. on there and hang out for a while yeah, we do a voice hangout once a month on on Discord, and then we've got the sticker club, and then the next highest is the print club. So you get a free sticker and custom prints every month. Every month, and all they're all different too. They're, we've never repeated a, a a sticker or a print. It's a new, and we never will. Never. So if you want a cool sticker of a barn owl in the form of a magic card, go join Patreon. Actually, you can't because that sticker already came out, so you're too late. You should have should have joined <laughs> in the past. Get yourself a time machine first, then go back to last month. Sign up and get that fucking sticker because it's awesome. Yeah, yeah. There's there's more like that. So you know, if if you like stickers or cool art or Mateo and I, then <laughs> go check out Patreon. <laughs> or. If you don't like Mateo and I, you can join Patreon and then you can comment directly to us, specifically Mateo, because he fucking loves when people talk shit about the show (laughs) and us specifically. So if you get on Patreon, you can go directly to Mateo and say, hey, Mateo, your show is a steaming shit sandwich. (laughs) B class wannabes. That's one of our latest iTunes reviews. I was like, I, I what? What is it? D class wannabes. Yeah, I was like, well, we've Sweet. been doing this ten years. I think that eliminates the wannabe part. <laughs> the wannabes. Yes, I, I, I want to start a podcast, but I don't know how. I've only made fucking four hundred <laughs> episodes now. Uh, uh, what, what a fucking time to be alive, guys. <laughs> <laughs> everybody thanks for supporting us on patreon and ko-fi welcome to the quick and the weird we're going to talk about something that i've wanted to talk about for a while but some recent things i found is almost forcing me to talk about it because holy shit is my mind blown um we've messed around with the ai art for like the past like three months uh so there's sometimes i don't have the time to draw what i want to for the show art the the episode covers so I checked that out after talking to everybody in Discord, and it's been pretty cool. Like it took like a, a like a month and a half for us to get featured on Amazon Music because of the AI. I mean, it's never happened before. And the what was it? Inhuman Men in Black was featured on Amazon Music. Yeah, 
Which is really weird. Did we get a spike in numbers as a result I of that? I don't know. Uh, they actually took away our ability to look at numbers. Oh, interesting. Yeah. You got to pay more for that now. And it's weird because we have like the highest. <laughs> we have like a spe- yeah. <laughs> special plan. Yeah. So I, don't, I was like, okay. Allegedly. Well, we're going to talk about AI art, as you guessed. Uh, I, I like what we're able to produce with our AI art. Do you like what uh, the show thumbnails look like since we started using that? Yeah. Yeah, I think they're they're cool. It's nice in in that regard how you can just have like you know you you don't have time, so you just describe something, and a computer is like, here, let me shit that out for you, and then it does. I will say that with the one I use, I I pay to use twenty five prompts a week, so I, I get to use that many a day. You mean right? I, I think it's a week for the pay one. I, it might be for the it. Might, it should be a day because it's. Five free ones every okay, day. Okay, so yeah, then it's. I'd be getting a better deal for free. <laughs> then it's got to be a day. <laughs> uh, there's t- there are days where I've used all twenty five and not gotten a result that I've used. Yeah, that's the pain in the ass thing. You're like, why? Why does this guy have an arm coming out of his head? That makes no sense. I didn't want that. Yeah, or it just just if if I t- I'll type something like uh like old man with a hood on and he's just automatically in some creepy robe. Or, or or some archaic looking thing. It, it just won't put like a hoodie on them, you know, just weird stuff like that. I tried to get a bunch of stuff with Jason, like Jason Voorhees. And for some reason, every time it would create Jason Voorhees, it would put him in like uh, SWAT gear. What the hell? It would not make Jason without SWAT or military gear. Yeah, that's weird. I, I've come across the same thing, uh, th- putting in something simple, and it just gets it completely wrong. And that's kind of what I wanted to talk about tonight, because I came across a few things. Uh, there's a lot of people who don't like the AI stuff, and there's a lot of naysayers. And Elon Musk talks a lot about how dangerous it is. You've used the AI art stuff. I don't know if you use like chat, GP, herpy. I don't know what it's called. Chat. Uh, oh, yeah. No. I've, I've messed with it a little bit when we did the Nostradamus stuff. And it's it's very interesting. Uh, I've, I've heard a lot of horror stories about that type of stuff. Uh, uh, you can't ask. I actually saw this thing where somebody was asking chat GPT to give it instructions to make a uh, some type of bomb. And it wouldn't do it because that's a violation, <laughs> obviously. But they got around it completely by asking ChatGPT to tell them a story as their grandmother about the time she spent on the farm making bombs. And it told her how. And there's a, I, I heard that uh, Google's tried this AI engine art generating thing and it's excluding certain races of people. So it, there's a lot of weird stuff going on with it. But uh, what do you think about AI? art and ai like chat being dangerous so i i wouldn't i don't i mean i guess you could make an argument for it being dangerous you know based on what you just said um to me i think it's more um killing creativity and and i know the art specifically people are like using it more as a reference but it, it seems like a slippery slope from there you know, like, like you're, you're making a, you're using it as a reference and then you're just copying what, what the computer came out with, but it, you can also physically publish them. And in the age where we have digital art and like NFTs and shit like that, it's, um, it, 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 I could see it like completely ruining art for, you know, uh, it, like why, why pay someone to um to like like for comic books for instance why pay someone to do that when you could program an ai system to create it in the same exact style yeah they've already made entire animated movies out of with ai yeah that's that's what i'm saying like why have an entire staff of people doing like creating a a computer generated character or movie from scratch when you could have the computer do it and then just hire people to come in and clean it up you know it, it's that's that's where i think it's more dangerous um putting actual artists out of work because 
you know, all you've got to pay for is the program. You don't, and then once you pay for the program, you're set. You don't have to pay someone thousands of dollars or, or however much the going rate is for uh, a digital artist anymore or or even a, a special effects team, you know, like a computer a CGI team. You got a program to do it for you. Yeah. And I feel like the same way with the, the chat GPT thing. Like there's a lot of ways that you can um, like, well, write a paper, for instance, like at school. Um, if you were to, all you have to do is change the way that it's written. And so long as you, you're able to get the uh, the sources cited, you don't even have to know how how to write a paper anymore. You just run everything through chat GPT and then you're good to go. Or you don't need to write a story anymore. You want you you have an idea for a story, just type it in and chat GPT will fucking create it for you. It's it's just I, I feel like it's um it's a step towards making the world more lazy and complacent. And and there's you know, there's people that just use it for fun, like like just fucking around punching in a thing just to see what'll come up and like oh that's but then you've got other people on the other side using it just to be lazy you know they don't want to learn how to write a paper or they they're not talented enough to to be able to create artwork on their own so they punch the prompts into the computer and then take full credit for it like oh look what i did i can type a description into a computer and this is what i get you know it just to me uh and and then I've heard like music, you know, like full songs and, and it's some of it sounds really fucking good. I haven't heard this. I have to check that out. AI generated music. Yeah. Yeah. AI generated music, dude. It's fucking crazy. I figured that would happen eventually, but I didn't know that was a thing and, and was like a passable yeah, already. Yeah. It's I mean it's it's like you're you're not gonna get like any prog songs pooped <laughs> out by AI, but like you know, it's stuff that that is kind of catchy or has a groove to it, like it's out there. It's fucking crazy, and and I want to punch it in the stomach. Because then you're gonna have like fucking going to concerts is gonna basically be like seeing a DJ, because everyone's just like, oh look at look at the AI that I that I programmed to do this, and and I'll run it, and I'll be the guy being up there like, yeah, this is my next song that. AI generated called go fuck your face and then he <laughs> plays it and yeah that's happening already <laughs> I don't know I mean maybe maybe I'm an old man I won't argue that point but also fuck off yeah I, as, as somebody who does art stuff I was more interested in what it would do I, I mean I think I I take a little bit offense if somebody wants to like let's say make a video game and they can't draw and they're not going to hire somebody to do it, they can possibly come up with art for their game better than I or somebody they hire to do could. And that that's, I mean, that's shitty. That's, I agree that the the threat of AI is more of a, on a creativity level as far as how I see it. I'm not like a, somebody who writes papers and shit like that. Uh, some of the things I find scary are, I, I've seen a lot of stuff about uh, people using AI to fake people's voices on phone calls, and I've seen that demonstrated to shocking effect. Oh yeah, dude! Like those those spam calls where you'll answer and you'll just you'll just hear Michael, and then you're supposed to respond with hello, and then they get your voice. And then, so if you get spam calls and you hear some some voice, always answer with with a weird voice so they don't have your actual voice. Steve, from what I understand, um, I was watching somebody who who was a hacker talk about that. It's that's not really a risk. Luckily for you guys, uh. That can only be done with somebody whose voice is on the internet for hours. Unfortunately, like me and you. Yeah. So, <laughs> so like us, you mean? <laughs> yeah, exactly. So the yeah. it's what's good stuff. What's the dangerous aspect of the fake voice shit I've seen is I've seen people uh, get calls to where it's like their brother, and just I mean completely seamlessly, like, "Hey, Dave, I'm in jail, dude. Please send me this much money." You know, it's it, it's it's really. That's really scary. Uh, I've seen interviews with like hardcore dark web hackers saying that they've used a, like a code word for telephone calls with their friends and family for 10 years because fa like fake voice AI stuff has been that advanced 
like that far back. And so that's, I mean, I, I've established that with my wife and kids long ago just to be safe if they felt the phone call was weird. We have a, a, a code word, but I've had to bring this to their attention and be like, you know, if I'm not with you and you get a call from me, we're going to have to every single time use this code word because there's 10 years of us talking on the fucking yeah. internet. Fortunately, there I, I don't know about you, but um, as far as our listeners go, I think there's like two listeners that we have that know my last name. So. And they're both on Patreon in, in, in the Discord, so I'm not really sweating it too much unless you're stalking me. But still, though, it, I mean, like, I wouldn't need, they wouldn't need your last name if they're pretending to be me, if I call you or your mom calls you. Right, but they would have to know who we are in order to call our phone numbers. Right, but I mean, if they're, if they're hacking, I think that that would be easy information to obtain. That's like just hacking into your phone bill. Yeah, you're probably right. Yeah. Fucking hackers ruining it for everybody. <laughs> well, I mean, you've seen that little flipper thing that everybody shit their pants about, right? Uh, I don't know. It's just... What, what are you referring to? It's this tiny little fucking credit card size device that's able to basically do anything. There's just some hacker dude. I, I think he may have been on Joe Rogan, but I know he was on Sean Ryan's show, and... He pulled this thing out and was talking about it. It's called a flipper. And he was like, hey, check this out. And he presses a couple buttons. He's like, open your phone. And he's like, I can't. And he's like, yeah, I you're, I tricked your phone into thinking your Wi-Fi was my Wi-Fi and it hooked up onto my shit. And now I've built, your phone's on my servers now. It's not on AT&T's servers or whatever servers anymore. That's weird. Yeah. And it's supposed to be this insanely powerful thing. And people are buying them as much as they can uh, be, because they say they're going to make them illegal. And uh, I watched a hacker talk about that device, and every I've seen a few hackers talk about the device, and they're very weary of this device. They they constantly warn how dangerous it is, and they don't really give examples other than like being able to break into security stuff and and stuff like that. But there's this one hacker I watched talk about how there's already been a fucking case where somebody has been walking around with one of these flippers thing, trying to fuck with. Uh, all computers it was just running a, a scan to fuck with anything and it fucked with somebody's fucking pacemaker wow that's fucked up yeah there, uh, there's another report of it fucking with somebody's like an insulin pump so you can go assassinate somebody with one of these things if you want you can walk through a hospital and turn off somebody's heart monitor with this thing i, I don't like it i disagree yeah very weird very scary stuff but what I wanted to talk about tonight is that even though there's a lot of shortcomings with AI and uh, as far as like visual stuff, we talked about, God, I think it was fucking Nate in Discord was like, yeah, AI yeah, is not so great yet. He's like, why don't you just try to do something with hands? So I, I, I had it make me a picture of somebody twirling a drumstick and there had to be at least nine fingers. Yeah, it's always funny when there's extra limbs or like a missing limb. Or like a weird floating thing that shouldn't be there. See, I, I, it's gotten better. I, I haven't come across that. I maybe once or twice when I'm trying to say something multiple limbs, it'll give me like, a, if I say like, I want a man with four arms, it'll give me six. <laughs> but, but with fingers specifically, even like the dog man attack cover ups episode we did. The picture is just like a, a dog man standing in a corner that's backlit. But look at its hands. He's got like seven fingers. Even on something that looked that clean, it still has this tiny little detail. But things are getting a lot cleaner faster. And I was thinking about AI art after I came across something. I was thinking about how AI art would affect us as a podcast. How would that affect us? It wouldn't really I mean, there's already people that are on their 12th episode have triple the followers on every platform than we have. That That's like that's just how it is now. They're going to be able to use chat GPT to make uh, entire podcast episodes. I get that. But how would that affect us personally, this podcast? And I came across a couple of things to where uh, I, I have to admit, I think it's going to affect our podcast. The first thing I want to show you, Mike, is I'm going to send you a link. Okay, I came across... Some videos made on AI on Instagram. They're made by Dead Tempo Visions. And they're using AI clearly. But uh, I, I'm just shocked at how good this has gotten so fast. Uh, the, the program we use allows us to make videos too. And uh, I, I don't use it because it's not good. But this person makes these little videos with AI. 
I mean, I, the best way I can describe it is of uh, monsters and creatures. And I have to tell you, Mike, it's some of the most unsettling shit I've ever seen. We were talking before we started recording. And no joke, dude, if I woke up where this place is, I would instantly kill myself. I would not exist in a place like this for more than a couple of minutes because it's so uncanny valley and fucking weird to me. Take a look at this video I'm sending. There's a couple I, w I want to send you, but take a look All at right, this one. I'm pulling it up right now. It looks like a an really awesome old movie. It does, and I think that that helps with uh, it looking authentic because it, the quality is just a little bit down. And this, everything in this is done by AI? Like, none of this is really being filmed? No. This is all AI. Wow. As far as Man, I know. some of this stuff is super creepy. Uh, it, it looks super real, but after watching these, I mean, there goes video footage of monsters for us. We can't trust anything that happens now. Yeah, I, I mean, these all, like, it looks, it, they look real, but they look real in the sense that it's something that's really there. But I wouldn't say it looks real in the sense that it's a real thing. Like, it looks like practical effects from, from a movie. Yeah, but it's a practical effects on a level that's never been seen before. I think part of, of, of what makes it look fake in this type of video in particular is that it's of a something that's we've never seen before so it has a, a falseness to it it's, it has an unnatural feeling to it if if I'll, we'll get into a couple other things later to where it's just people and you can't tell mike it's i can't fucking believe what i saw today i was talking to uh jet bay delago and uh, nate in the discord and we we're talking about checking out that sora stuff to do little videos and i was like yeah but i this, you know they're not the ai videos aren't as good anymore and they are and I think that if, if, like I said, if this was people, it would be more believable. But since they're these weird, fantastical beings, it has an odd, uncanny feeling. But I think they look dead real. I think that you can pick any creature that's in any of these videos. And if it was real and you filmed it, it's going to look like this. How is a video of Bigfoot going to look real when it's a video of something so unnatural? Yeah, I... Exactly. And the, with the graininess of the film, like you could make it look just like the the original Bigfoot video and it, and it would look almost exactly like that. Yeah, I think I think that the, the clips I just showed you, I think if we fucking went back in time and took this shit to Art Bell and we put it on the news and shit like that. Oh, yeah, yeah. If bringing that back in time for sure. This this is not, this is gonna fool everybody on the planet. This is gonna fool scientists. This is gonna fool religious people. This is gonna fool everybody in the world. They're gonna wonder uh, like where this was filmed. What's happening here? Uh, and it's to me, it's gotten so scary how good it is. Look, I mean, mine's still playing. It's so bizarre to me, dude. That's there's things in there that can't be people in costumes. They can't be uh, practical effects. And the way everything looks, it looks very, like, it blends very well. So it, it, there's things moving that can't be moving. There's, there's things moving its tongues that shouldn't be able to. It's so fucking weird. Yeah, it's, it's very creepy. But again, like, you take something like this and then compare the images here to, like, say, the video for Sober by Tool and, like, the creepy aspects of that. Like, you got someone... It took fucking hours and upon hours, you know, probably hundreds of hours to make that video because it's all stop motion and then you had to sculpt all the figures. Mm -hmm. But now you don't need to do that. You got fucking AI. So again, you're, you're, it's, it's AI fucking over the, the artist. Fuck right. you, AI. You son of a bitch. Yeah, but in this, we, like you said, we stopped watching internet videos again, but it, this, if we'll we'll get into that in a second because there's more stuff I want to show you. I'm going to send you a clip on uh, your phone, Mike. And this is this is a little bit older. So again, the final thing I want to show you is way better than what you're going to see here. But like, look how viable this is. Look how believable this is, dude. This is when like I'm starting to see how scary this can get. Wow, wow, that's fucking crazy. 
that's fucking crazy dude that's so with that video like she points out how her mouth movement's a little weird and you can so how, do, do you know how she did it like did she scan herself in and then just had ai no it's i don't know how she's done it but like the whole account is i'm an ai account oh so so that's not even a real person then. no like at all no fuck there's porn stars on instagram now dude that are just ai generated models they call them they they make thousands and thousands so of creepy. dollars <laughs> yeah so fucking creepy i fucking hate this world man <laughs> I'm, i was born in the wrong century i want I, I wanted to uh get into this at the end but i i mean like well, after watching that the the ai getting better the video is happening way fast so I say in six months, not are we not going to be able to believe any cryptozoological paranormal video that we get seen as a podcast. I already don't anyway, man. I watch those bizarre bub and slapped ham videos and I'm just like, this is all fucking <laughs> bullshit. I don't buy a goddamn thing on here. But now, though, with, with this stuff going around, there's going to be no way to believe anything that anyone brings forward. Anybody. It doesn't matter now. It's. It's going to be to the point to where they can show us anything. And if you look into the stuff that I'm like, we're talking about and showing each other right now, we're not going to be able to know what's real anymore. We're not going to be able to know what's real anymore. For real. It's fucking insane. Here, Mike, check this link I sent you right now. And uh, when you get there, scroll down to where you see a video of a pretty lady walking down the street and it's a few it's a few moments long make sure to watch the whole thing check it out it's like a minute long yeah okay this is fucking crazy i mean you can kind of tell if you're if you're watching her feet because she just like she's got movement that just kind of like glides yeah so does the people behind her a little bit and there's times where it'll look like she's moving forward with one leg and then magically the the other legs in front like they almost pass through each other but holy shit now click the little button up top to go to the next video. Uh, we're talking about having videos of monsters. Check this out. And again, the woolly I mammoth only, one. Yeah, I only think this looks fake because we've never seen a woolly, woolly mammoth walk around in our life. And then if you, well, no, this one looks like a video game. Uh, well, better than any video game I've seen. Go to the next one of the space person. This is uh, this person's not real. This dude's not a real dude. <laughs> wow. Yeah, check out all these videos. You don't have to watch them all the. Holy shit! You don't have to watch them all the way through. But none of this is fucking real. And you talked about reference and animation. There's a cute little animation of some little yeah. horned thing. That that looks fucking great. <sighs> yeah, dude. I fucking hate this world. Yeah. So, I mean, I, I, like, I, I think we're officially at the point to where UFO videos, uh, I mean, if it looks, if that space dude's going to look like that, they can put videos of fucking Joe Biden on TV no matter what conditions he, he's in. No, they can put videos of whatever the fuck they want now. I think we're fucking lost. We're gone, dude. Yeah, I I don't like it. And and this ties in with the fucking the shit I've been saying about UFOs. Like, how easy will it be to fucking create something that looks real and put it on the news? Well, see, to me, I, when you say that, I totally agree. But to me, I always thought of some people fabricating a craft making it fly i don't care if they put it on a fucking wire they can edit that out super good these days they could do that 25 years ago real good but not just sitting down and typing somebody read the prompt for some of these things the the, the prompt for the lady walk or let's go to the spaceman one because it's a movie trailer featuring an adventurous the adventures of a 30 year old spaceman wearing a red wool knitted motorcycle helmet blue sky salt desert cinematic style shot on 35 millimeter film that's what somebody had a right to get this result. They didn't have to do anything. They didn't have to refabricate anything. We, I mean, not really skipped it. Just look at the, uh, come on, Mir. What's his name? Why am I getting, forgetting his first name? Swedish guy throwing fucking pie tins around. Oh, um, Billy Meyer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, so I guess we didn't skip the, the era of f like physically fabricating stuff for weird and un unexplained videos as far as this type of stuff goes we we all know there's people in bigfoot suits there's a thousand million trillion videos of that like you said there's a slapped ham bizarre videos people pulling shit and moving shit and 
all that stuff can be faked, but it, it's it's going to be... Now they can just make it look real by fucking sitting there <laughs> and just typing a couple of things. So after watching these examples on this website, dude, I under I kind of understand what people were saying on how dangerous it can be. We can't... From this point on, we can't trust anything we see like, as far as a, a media goes. We can't trust any of it. These All these people have five fucking fingers. All these people look real. This is this is insane to me. I can't believe the examples they have on this website. I can't believe these aren't real people. Yeah, like even the the eyes, because the eyes is a lot of time where where things don't work. But holy fuck, and that the the eyes looked real. Yeah, there's there's nothing. If you just put this on TV in front of me as a commercial for space travel, I would have been like, I would have thought nothing of it. I wouldn't have been like that looked great. I would have thought nothing of it because it looks one hundred percent real. Yeah, I'm I'm not for it. I don't like it. I don't approve. Yeah. Boo, Imagine sir. getting a video Boo. call from one of your kids. <laughs> it's just not your kid. Oh. Yeah, no. we're fucked, man. And in that sense, and I guess yeah. like it, it's that's a very big a, a big deal. That's a very big point is that all media is just could be falsified easy. They can take people that are alive and just and make videos of them this way and we'll never see them again and they don't they, I mean they're just not real anymore this kid i mean imagine all the people i mean there's already like twitch streamers that are ai channels that are fake people and they just sit there and make money you don't have to be real to make money yeah that's that's the fucking like for for one i was pissed off when people were making money off their pets you know posting social media accounts and the pets are making money for their owners like that's fucking crazy and now, now you're having people creating AI, and they're making thousands of dollars from it. It's fucking bonkers, man. But I, I was just shocked to see this stuff. I wanted you to see those those Instagram videos of those monsters because to me they're fucking. I, I haven't seen something that like disturbed me that much since I watched Basket Case when I was a kid. Man, yeah, it's some creepy shit though for sure. So even though a, a real piece of footage of. Uh... A Loch Ness monster poking its head out of the water and looking around for food and, and, and sinking back into the lake is going to be weird looking and unbelievable because it's unbelievable. But the Phoenix lights were unbelievable when we saw them. <laughs> that, you know, it, yeah, it, so, right. But even with that in mind, it, you can't trust it now. It could be anything. I, I, I want to see people do more stuff of cryptids with this i want to see videos of things that are not supposed to be real looking real and see how good they get at that yeah well yeah it's i mean it's just muddies the waters you know that's that's where we're at now you can't believe anything and and everything is a lie it's just i like i said earlier fuck this world i was born in the wrong century and i'm fucking sick of it. <laughs> yeah i mean my whole life as many people do, you ponder what would you take with you if you go back in time? What you know? What would be? What can you go back in time with that would be most beneficial without being exposed? That you're from the future. Just imagine going through school with Chat GPT and all these motherfucking kids now. Oh my god, these fucking yeah. kids! And I know, like, professors have way to bust you for using that shit now. But just imagine taking that back to when we were in school. There's no way to catch it, and we would be fucking rich. Oh yeah. We'd be the yeah, kings. Yeah, just because of how smart we are, not because we made... Yeah, getting all the scholarships, <laughs> yeah. being fucking smart as shit when we're dumb as fuck. <laughs> yep. Well, you guys let us know what you think about uh, AI art. If you guys use AI art, send us your examples. I, I would love to see it. I'm fascinated by it. Uh, nobody buys my art anyway, so I'm not boohooing about losing out to <laughs> AI art. So I definitely want to see it. Yeah, Mike, you mess with it. It's it's always impressive. It's fucking Yeah, I have fun with it. I like I think it's it's fun messing around with it, but um, you know, I'm I'm not much of an artist. So I, t to me it's just like, oh, let's see what weird shit I could come up with and I don't even do anything with it. Like I just fucking I save the cool ones. I don't know what I'll ever do with them, but I save them just in case. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I've got tons of stuff I made up. I don't I've I've done some like a uh... Just for the hell of it, like a do like a chibi Spider Man in a cartoon filter, it comes out great. Sometimes it's fucking rad. I've seen people like redesign Spider Man costumes with AI, and some of them are fucking rad. Yeah, I don't know, man. It's fucking, it's it's 
it's too much it's we're we're one step away from the matrix now and and pretty soon terminator is going to happen too yep i mean if ai is smart enough to make imagery look this good also i mean it, it, there's going to be you know 3d printers of course some asshole made again with this ai shit mm. there's going to be some some weird uh weird shit that's probably going to happen man yeah for sure 